Hey everyone, Dr. Ashley here from Head to Toe. Do you ever get that naggy shoulder blade pain that comes on for no reason and just kind of sticks around for like a few days? Well, I have it right now and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So first off, before we get into using the props, um, try taking a deep breath. So if you notice that you're getting the pain, take a deep breath in and out. And if that pain either gets more intense is sharper, you have inability to actually take a deeper breath, chances are you might have some sort of rib dysfunction. If that is the case, give us a call or hop online and schedule an appointment at that point so that we can get it assessed. And if you are not that person and you can take a deep breath just fine, we're going to do two things that could help out. So the first being using a lacrosse ball. Um, this is going to be your bread and butter. So what we're going to focus on is taking the lacrosse ball and putting it on the inside border of your shoulder, of your shoulder blade. Generally speaking, you want to stay off your rib cage and you're just going to follow the softer tissues, the muscles on the inside of that shoulder blade. So for me, I'm feeling something right about here. So I'm going to take the ball. I'm going to put it right on that spot, come up against the wall. If you want to lay on the ground, that's fine. It's totally up to you. It's just your preference. I'm going to show it against the wall right now. So I've got the ball right on the inside of the shoulder blade and maybe you can get a, a look at this, maybe not. But again, I'm on the inside part of my shoulder blade and right there, it's pretty tender. I can feel that radiating to my shoulder. I can also feel it radiating to my chest. Um, so those two things being said, probably have tight muscles in my shoulder and I may or may not have a little bit of rib stuff going on. But anyway, we're gonna find that spot. You're gonna stay on it for about two minutes and you're gonna take your arm and you're actually gonna do a big, big circle. Now, when you do this motion, normal things to feel, number one, pain. Number two, any popping, and number three, anything that's like grainy or it feels lumpy, bumpy, like that's pretty much normal things to feel when you do this. So you're gonna stay on this, you're gonna do this for two minutes, and then you're gonna take the ball and you're gonna do the opposite side so that we stay even. After that, we're gonna practice changing the posture of the shoulder. So usually when we get any rib dysfunction, shoulder pain, chances are your shoulder joint is tipped forward. And that can happen working at the desk, looking down and doing stuff, just general bad posture habits. So we're gonna work on something that can reverse it. So I have a band here, and you don't need to do this exercise with a band, I just like the, the resistance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the band, we're gonna go palms up, we're gonna hold the band in our hands, you're gonna take your elbows, you're gonna tuck those in tight towards your side. As you do that motion, that shoulder should tuck back a little bit, and you'll feel a little pressure build up between your shoulder blades. So once we're there, we're gonna take the wrist, we're gonna pull those apart. As we pull the shoulders apart, chest should stay neutral and so should your head. So we shouldn't be doing this. No looking up, no chest out. We're gonna keep that neutral. And we're gonna keep our chin and neck neutral as well. So pick a point in front of you and stare at it so that you know that your posture is staying the same. We're gonna repeat this for about 10 reps and you can do about two to three sets of this. Now, if these two things don't help you at all, again, give us a call or hop online to schedule an appointment today.